we know exactly Saudi are not going to run out of money anytime soon. And these huge transfer deals from Saudi will continue and these other leagues will collapse. Can someone just make me understand exactly what is going on? Can someone just make me understand if Saudi are using the right way to sign players into their pro league? Splashing their money all over Europe, splashing their money all over these other leagues and getting fantastic, talented and now young footballers into the league. Ruben Aves, only 26, leaving hoofs and joining Saudi's Pro League. I'm not saying Ruben Nava should have not joined the Saudi's Pro League. What I'm trying to understand is is it because of these huge deals or it is because of football still? Ruben Aves the other day we had him saying he wishes he could have been playing the Champions League. A few months later Ruben Aves leaves Premier League and joins Saudi's Pro League. Why? Because of huge deal from Saudi. No one can deny somebody to go where it feels like he will be getting what he has been looking for. For Saudi, it is money. Am I the one who are thinking, oh, this thing is very big and everyone should be and must be concerned. Something has to be done for this thing to stop or maybe to slow it down. It all started with Cristiano Ronaldo, Ngolo Kante, Karim Benzema, Mendy, I don't know, Kulibali, Hakim Ziyech, and now they are targeting Chelsea's Adson Odoi. One again, very young, talented, Footballer. Somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo and Karim Benzema joining Saudi's Pro League is not a problem. These are the two players that have achieved everything in football. They have won Ballon d'Or. They have been the best goal scorers in each and every league they have played. And they are almost retiring from the game. And being in Saudi shows that they are already in their vacation after retiring from football. Ruben Naves, one of the youngest footballers right now joining Saudi's Pro League. 26 years old. He's just on his peak of his career. I'm not saying Saudi's Pro League should not be having young, talented footballers. What I'm trying to know is, is this the right way to build your league? Is this the right way to get players into your league? Saudi are here to stay with their huge deals. It is now a serious business and they are here to build their football economy. On the other side, football economy of these other places are about to collapse. Why? Because right now, each and every player will not deny these huge deals. Saudi should find another way of signing players into their squad. I'm not saying they're not supposed to be exploring all over the world and getting the kind of footballers they want them to play in their league. But what I know for sure, the huge deals is affecting these other leagues. These other leagues have no huge and big money to sign players the way Saudi are now doing. It all started with Ronaldo, but no one really knew that this thing was going to grow to a point whereby they're going to be signing five players in one week. Chelsea selling all of their players they wanted them out of the squad this transfer season is a clear picture and a clear evidence of what kind of a business Saudi can decide to do with any club. They're ready to give you any amount of money you want so long as you'll give them each and every player in your squad that you don't need. Is there anything which has to be done at least to slow down the growth of this Saudi's Pro League? Huge transfer deals because right now each and every player thinks about that huge money from saudi why don't we just have somebody like Lionel messi he was offered the largest huge deal from saudi no one has been offered the amount of money that messi was offered from saudi but he didn't join the league why because he knows exactly which one is very important football or money football is very important the way things are going right now something has to be really done and it has to be an immediate thing right now who is going to be the next saudi's product target maybe they're done with chelsea because getting more than four players in one club that's a real business not just real business but very productive business because it seems right now saudi league will be the only league with good footballers because they have enough money to buy each and every player be it young or old, legend or a star. If this will continue for the next two or three years, that means the only league who will be having superstars in their league is the Saudis Pro League.